Hello, in this video we're going to be talking about how to use the VPN client Cisco AnyConnect. So to start off, let's talk about what VPN is. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network, and it's a service provided by NC State that allows you to connect your device securely to the university network remotely. This is all done through a VPN client, which is basically a software application that you need to have installed on your computer. The VPN client uses your Unity ID and password to confirm your identity. Before we start the tutorial, it should be noted that this video was made using a Windows PC. However, all of the steps within this tutorial can also be applied to a Mac computer. All right, so at this point, we have our Cisco AnyConnect software already installed. If you have not done so already, we have a couple different tutorial videos telling you how to do that. We have one for Mac OS, we have one for Windows. So go ahead and check those out if you have not already and get that software on there. All right, so I'm gonna search it up, Cisco AnyConnect. All right, and now we are going to get connected and log in. All right, so it should say vpn.ncsu.edu. Mine is already pre-populated in there. If it's not for you, go ahead and type that in. We're gonna hit connect. All right, and then we're gonna put in our username as our Unity ID, and then password as the password that coincides with your Unity ID. All right, and then the second password can be a little bit tricky to understand, but it's not too difficult. Basically what it's doing is it's the two-factor authentication. Two-factor authentication or 2FA verifies your identity through two different sources. The first source is you entering your password with your Unity ID. The second source is usually a device like your phone that's used to kind of double check. And 2FA is more secure than just a single password. Usually it will be, as you'll see later on in the video, a duo push or a passcode or something like that. All right. So there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. You can just simply do a push. So what you would do is you would just type push in here. Um, all lowercase just like it shows up right here and then it's just going to send a push to your phone um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to hit OK. Then you're going to go to the Duo app. You're going to see one request waiting. Click on that green bar up there. All right and then you're going to hit approve and then the push will be good. You will be authenticated. Okay so that was one way that you can get your um, identity authenticated through the system. Let's let's talk about the second option we have sms so what we're going to do is we're just going to put sms we're going to hit ok again all lowercase as it appears down here and what that's going to do is it's going to send a passcode to your phone and then you're going to enter in the code that it sends to you then hit ok and then we'll be connected okay so you might be wondering why do i need to use a vpn so as we said before, a VPN allows you to remotely access the university network. Now, many of the websites and resources that you need to use can be accessed from your home network, like Moodle, WebAssign, that kind of thing. However, some of the websites cannot. All right, so for the purposes of this demonstration, I am going to be connected to my phone's hotspot. So I am not connected to the NC State Wi Fi. I'm not connected through the VPN. Let's look at this example. All right, so we're going to go to J Hub. And as you can see, it's taking a while to load. Let's see, the site cannot be reached, and it's going to keep trying like that. All right, now let's connect to our VPN. Okay, now let's reload this. Look at that, we're in. Okay, lastly, let's talk about how to disconnect. So, as I've shown you before, we can look up Cisco AnyConnect in the search bar. All right, and all you have to do to disconnect is just hit disconnect. All right, it's pretty easy. These directions are specifically for NC State. Um, as you've seen, if you look at the install videos, you're required to log in and authenticate with your Unity ID. So this is specifically for accessing NC State Network. 
All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to check out the installation videos if you have not already. And have a great day. Thanks for watching, Wolfpack.